Hi everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. This is going to be a movie discussion video. Um, I'm talking to you in my bed because I am sick. I have a 101 degree fever. Well, I just took my temperature, just popped some Tylenol, drinking something cold. Um, plus I'm achy and sore from my fall the other day. Um, I'm sure the fever and the fall aren't correlated. It just happens to be happening at the same time. And, but you know, the good thing is I work from home. So, you know, it's a lot more relaxed environment. It really lends itself to recovery. But, and then I got, I got, doing? I got, <laughs> I got my girl here. I got my girl. I love my girl so much. I burped. I'm sorry, Tina. But anyway, I got my girl here. But we're going to talk about a movie called Scalene starring Margot Martindale, Hannah Hall, and Adam Scarambola, and it's directed by Zach Parker. Um, Margaret Martindale was in Dexter, and uh, Hannah Hall was in Rob Zombie's Halloween. She was in, she was the young Jenny in um, Forrest Gump. Very cute girl. And then Adam Scarambola, who is a great actor. I can't believe, I can't think of anything that I know him from. I know that name for sure, though. But so the movie is about this young man. He's 26, 27 years old. He had, uh, he's uh, mentally disabled from a, from an incident and um, he doesn't speak and he shakes a lot. And uh, um, I think he gets irritated because he uh, can't communicate, but, and Margot Martindale is his mom. And she hires Hannah Hall to uh, be his caregiver, you know, a few days a week. Um, and at the beginning, it opens with, there'll be spoiler alert, there'll be spoilers, so sorry, spoiler alert at the beginning, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. But everything is pretty much given away, sort of, at the beginning of the movie. Um, he is arrested for... S.A. on Hannah Hall and it opens with uh, Margot Martindale going to her house and go, you know, to the girl's house and going after her saying she wants her son back and um, she shoots her but just shoots her in the shoulder, just in the shoulder like that's no big deal. But, and it's called Scalene and the story is told from three different points of view. And uh, they show Margot Martindale, Adam Scarambola, you know, those characters with their attorney and Hannah Hall's character, Paige, with her parents. And they are discussing, you know, his sentence for essaying her. And they, you know, they leave the room so the mom and the kid, well, he's not really discussing anything, but so he can just, they can discuss it with the attorney and the attorney was like, this is the best thing for him. It was to go to a, to a hospital for someone like him. Um, and the attorney says, this is the best thing for him. And I, he's an adult. I don't need your permission. And he, because the mom doesn't want to send him there. And uh, so, he does end up getting sent there. So then the movie's kind of told, the story's kind of told like indirectly. But what happens is the guy, the kid, the, the, the young man is, he's being physically A-B-U-S-E-D by mom. Um, Cause she's got a temper and she's frustrated and everything. And, um, his caregiver, Hannah Hall, always sees new bruises on him and everything. And it's been ongoing and she fe feels really bad and she tries to report it to 
adult services, but then she doesn't, I guess she thinks that they're not really going to do anything because she couldn't really answer any of their questions. They were like, has anyone else witnessed this? Have you actually seen it happen? You know, things like that. So she knew this woman is mistreating the boy, but doesn't know what to do. So she devises a plan and it's kind of messed up, but she basically sets up the S-E-X-U-A-L assault. But the way she does it is she actually has to assault him to get a sample, if you know what I'm saying. And so she does something to him and collects it in a cup and puts it inside her. She beats herself up like and she's crying the whole time she's doing it, but she feels like this is the only way to help him. But um, still, I'm I'm disturbed, and I think it's supposed to be disturbing and supposed to make you think, you know, she had to A, B, U, S, E, D him to get the sample in order to protect him. So she um, she beats herself in the chest and hits herself in the face and stuff, and... Um, you know, puts the, the sample inside her and she goes in to talk to him. She takes his shirt off and she scratches his chest and she's crying the whole time. She's like, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But this is, you're going to be safe after this. And, and she waits for his mom to get home. His mom is on a lunch date and he, she, when she gets home, she runs out of the house and the mom tries to talk to her and she's like, don't touch me. And she leaves. The police come and get, get the guy. And so basically what she did is she, in a way it's kind of shitty what she did, but in another way, I understand why she did it. She wasn't doing it to be a bad person. She was trying to help him. And the movie ends with, the, I think with the assumption that he did get help because he got out of that toxic household and is now in a hospital where he can be properly cared for. But those places are so twisted in themselves. But I think that the way the story is told, we're just supposed to assume that everything is fine for him afterwards. Um, she's, uh, the, the girl, the caregiver is, it's just interesting to me because she had to do that to him to help him, but it was still a assault. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, it was an excellent movie. It was very, very good. Um, I know there were a lot of spoilers and, but you know what? It's such a good movie that I don't think that hurts it. Now I saw it on Filmsy on Hulu. Um, again, it's called Scalene. S-C-A-L-E-N-E. -E. Um, again, directed by Zach Parker. I'm looking at my notes here. And again, starring Margot Martindale, Hannah Hall, and Adam Scarambola. Uh, very good movie. I didn't love the ending. I would have liked more closure, but um, I think it, we're just supposed to assume, I guess, or maybe it's open to interpretation. But it was a very good movie. Uh, beautifully acted. Um, I can't believe it hasn't gotten more attention than it has. It came out in 2011, but it's, it's a great movie, but it really made, you know, and I've been thinking about it. I watched it last night and I've been thinking about it all day. I'm like, I understand why she did what she did. I understand it. And she did help him, but she had, you know, she had to do this to him, but had he stayed in that house, that would, his, the situation would have continued. And the mother, his mother was so that this young young lady may have not lasted long. Now the movie is, it's a quick watch, but she was his caregiver apparently for several months and was noticing these new um, bruises and stuff. And she did try to talk to the mom about it, but the mom was like, I've told you, he loses his temper and beats himself up and everything. and. And Hannah Hall, thankfully, isn't buying it. Um, 
I think, not that I want to see someone be ABUSE'd, but if they had presented more of her mistreating him in it, and she did, we did see some of her mistreating him, but more of her causing the bruises, that would have left less of a question for the viewer on how Hannah Hall had to, like I said, get the sample, how she had to basically frame him to protect him. And, um, and I just wonder as if, if you're a caregiver or what extreme would you go to, to help somebody who was nonverbal and was being hurt by somebody and so sheltered that there was no one else to see this, you know, I don't know. It was, it was, it, this movie was sad. It was depressing. It was grim, but it was a really good movie. If you like dramas. Um, I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Again, scaling. So that's it. I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to go to sleep now and I will talk to everyone later. Bye. Mm -hmm.